today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly blur images, faces, or objects using Canva. So that if you use your photos and you need to protect some information, you can do it quickly and easily. So I've got a little blank Canva here, and uh, to show you how it works, I'm going to pop a photo in here. You can also go to Uploads and Upload a Photo. For now, we're going to use one of these stock photos just to quickly get into it. So I've got this image here. And if I zoom in down the bottom here, you'll see I've got some faces, maybe a computer screen, and maybe for some reason I want to blur all or part of this image. So what I'm going to do is actually click, if I click off, you'll see we've got nothing up here, but if I click on the image, there's an edit image section. Now if I click on that, just simply scroll down, there's a blur section here. And you can actually, it may not be there if you've already connected it somehow, but if you click on blur here, it's a, it's just a part that you need to connect and click use and it'll connect it to your Canva account. Now, what you actually do then is you've got the image, you can actually just click auto blur if you want to and it'll blur the whole image pretty quickly and you've got this slider that allows you to change the intensity. Or you can go uh, to cancel and start again. But one thing you'll notice quickly is it's no longer down the bottom because I've connected it. It now comes up under tools here for blur. So I'm going to go to blur in here and I can move some things around but it actually gives me a brush. You'll see here I've got brush size and I can change the spread or the intensity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the intensity and the spread up really high. I'm just going to go pop it here and you'll see it's a little bit vague. The spread means that essentially the blur is very spread and therefore very sort of semi-transparent. So I'm actually going to go uh, restore and back into blur here. Now, if I take the spread right down and do it again, we get a more intense, sort of a more uh, direct blur. And we can also up the intensity to blur even further. But to find that sort of sweet spot, hit restore again, show original, go to blur. We can actually find a, a nice little, if I go back over to this face over here or onto this monitor, if I get the intensity and the spread down, you'll find you probably get a more controlled blur and it's easier to sort of get what you want. And of course you can also just make the brush size a bit smaller. So if you want to do something like this, we need to take that spread down a bit, maybe up the intensity and play with that setting until we get the kind of blur that we're happy with. Because you don't necessarily want to blur something out completely to the point where it's unrecognizable. Maybe you just want a sharper object to be a little bit sort of softer. So if we take these right down and that spread right down and do an edge like this, you can see we get a blurred edge. It's not sort of too insane, but it just looks like kind of, kind of like a blurry background on an image or something like that. So it's actually pretty simple to use. That is pretty much it. Uh, like I said, you can restore it anytime, but when we're done, I'm just gonna hit back and our image is now got port portions of it blurred out. So that's it for today. A very quick and easy little tutorial for you. Um, if you want to learn more about Canva, check out our playlist, which I will pop up on the screen right now. A few more videos there on how you can learn how to use Canva and uh, to design things for your social media or your business and uh, go from there. All right, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again soon.